Hello, and welcome to our channel. In this video, we're diving into the intriguing concept of the Cobb-Douglas production function. This fundamental economic tool plays a vital role in understanding how businesses and economies produce goods and services. So, what is Cobb-Douglas production function? The Cobb-Douglas production function is a widely used economic model that describes the relationship between inputs like labor and capital, an output, usually representing the quantity of goods or services produced in a production process. This function is named after economists Charles W. Cobb and Paul H. Douglas, who first introduced it in the 1920s. The Cobb-Douglas production function is a key concept in the field of microeconomics and plays a significant role in analyzing and understanding production processes, cost structures, and economic growth. The general form of the Cobb-Douglas production function is Q equals A, L alpha, K beta, where Q represents the level of output, like goods or services. A is a positive constant that represents total factor productivity or technological progress. It measures how efficiently inputs are transformed into output. L stands for the quantity of labor input. K represents the quantity of capital input. Alpha and beta are positive constants that represent the output elasticity of labor and capital, respectively. These coefficients indicate how much an increase in labor or capital affects the level of output. Now, detailed explanation of each component. Output. Q represents the quantity of goods or services produced by a firm or industry. It is the dependent variable in the production function, and its level depends on the quantities of labor and capital inputs. Total factor productivity. A is a constant term that represents total factor productivity or technological progress. It captures the efficiency of the production process and the ability of the firm to convert inputs into output. An increase in A represents technological advancement or improved efficiency, which leads to more output for a given set of inputs. Labor input. L represents the quantity of labor used in the production process. Labor can include both skilled and unskilled workers, and it is a crucial input in most production processes. The coefficient alpha measures how responsive output is to changes in the quantity of labor. A higher alpha indicates a stronger positive relationship between labor and output. Capital input. K represents the quantity of capital, which includes machinery, equipment, buildings, and other physical assets used in production. Capital is another essential input in many production processes. The coefficient beta measures how responsive output is to changes in the quantity of capital. A higher beta indicates a stronger positive relationship between capital and output. In the Cobb-Douglas production function, the values of alpha and beta are typically less than 1, but greater than 0, indicating diminishing returns to scale. This means that as more labor or capital is added, while holding the other input constant, the additional output generated by each additional unit of input decreases. Economists and businesses use the Cobb-Douglas production function to analyze production decisions, input allocation, cost minimization, and economic growth. It provides a simplified framework for understanding how changes in inputs and technology affect the level of output in various industries and sectors of the economy. Thank you for watching. If you found this information valuable, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more educational content on various important topics. Your support is greatly appreciated.